Hello and welcome to my Unity visual scripting tutorial on subgraphs. In a script graph, you can add a node that links directly to another script graph. A nested script graph is called a subgraph. A subgraph can be embedded in the node that adds it to a graph, or it can be linked to an external graph file. Subgraphs can help you to reuse and organize logic across your application. You can configure a subgraph to take inputs as well as send outputs back to its parent graph. There are a few ways to create a subgraph. You can either do it from within another graph by just creating it there, editing the embedded graph, or switching to a new graph. Or the easier way is to go into your project files, create visual scripting and script graph. From here, you can edit the script graph and turn it into a reusable subgraph. I would like to take this opportunity to pause for a moment and ask for your help. I'm still very new to creating tutorials, so I need you to let me know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong please take a moment if you enjoy this video if you've learned something from it click the like button down there if you're looking forward to seeing more tutorials from me hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions comments concerns anything leave a comment below the video i would like to expand my offerings when it comes to unity as well i want to be able to create subgraphs that i can offer to people to allow them to use if you're interested in getting a subgraph created for you just tell me what you want it to do and I will do my best to make a reusable subgraph component that you can just drop on an object in your world and just have things happen. I look forward to hearing from you. Now that we've covered the basics of subgraphs, let's actually dig into the specifics here. I highly recommend entering a title and a summary for every subgraph you create. It makes it a lot easier to understand what they do and how they work. So for this one, I'm just going to call this a subgraph example. For the summary, for the time being, an example subgraph for my tutorial video. Now, you can have trigger inputs, trigger outputs, data inputs, and data outputs for any subgraph. You don't have to have all of those, but you do have to have some so that it can connect in the parent graphs. There are a few different ways that you can go about doing this. Uh, you can create your inputs first, so we want our trigger input, which is the flow. I tend to just call that enter, but you can actually have multiple trigger inputs if you want. That allows you to then put your input node here, input in nesting, not Unity Engine, they are different, and you'll see now each one of these that I create over here exists. Keep in mind that we can add the inputs directly on this input node or we can add it to the graph itself the same goes for outputs we can create an output node here like that now you have to have your type set on the output before it'll actually work for you and again you can have any number of combinations here however you want for inputs and outputs, but you have to have at least one input or one output to allow the subgraph to connect. One thing to keep in mind, you are only allowed to have a single input and a single output node per subgraph. It allows you to add multiples, but you'll see over here multiple output nodes in the same graph. Only one of them will be used. There's no telling for sure which one it's going to use. Unity says that it will use the first one you added, but you should only ever have one of each. Now that we've gone over the components of subgraphs, let's just create one and see what we can do. We're going to take our existing input and we're going to change this. Now notice changing the key of this definition will break any existing connection. So when you make changes to these, you have to be very aware that it could break. So you want to get these things set up first before you actually put them to use. And we're going to call this one add health. And we're going to call this one remove health. 
we're going to add a data input here. We're going to call this change amount. It is going to be of type integer. And we're going to go ahead and check this has default value box. And what this does is this allows us to enter a value in the subgraph when we're looking at the parent graph. Now, from here, we can actually have two different flows. The first thing we're going to want to do is get a copy of our save variable player health that I've created. And then we're going to need an add node. And we're going to need a subtract node. And so what we will do here is we'll take the player health. We'll take the change amount. And then we will do two different set variables here, depending on what we're doing. If we're adding health, do that. And if we're subtracting health, we do that. We're going to add a trigger output, call it exit. Remove our data output, because we don't need that. And we can put both of these like that. Now we're going to drop this into another graph so you can see exactly how this works. Just for example purposes, we are going to use the on start event to trigger this just so you can see exactly how it works. We will add health and we can either use a integer literal here or as I showed you before, we can actually just enter the number in there. Now. We will go ahead and hit play, and you'll see that this player health, I see there is 110. Now if we go back and instead do the remove health, hit play here, and player health will drop back down to 100 right there. We do it again, player health will drop once more to 90. Voila. And that is just one small example of something you could create a subgraph to do. This has been just a taste of the power that subgraphs have within Unity. I intend on creating and giving away subgraphs in the future. Uh, I've already got one made that I am uh, planning on making a video for. So again, if you have any subgraphs that you would like to see made, let me know, and I will do everything I can to help you out. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching this video. Please, again, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from it, please click that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below the video. So if there is something that you want to know now, let me know, and I will see what I can do about teaching that to you right away. See you guys again next time. Have a great day.